Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are on the last and very final part of the game. Last part, we ended off on a sour note. So, let's talk to Sebastian about what She's happened. She's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in. Sebastian, did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, Anne, I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. Don't worry, Sebastian. I shall speak with Ominous. Thank you. You're a good friend, truly. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Poor Sebastian. Ominous? What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. We do have a choice. What good will it do to turn him in now? He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this again. We've both heard that before. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health, now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I... I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. You're a good friend. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. Yeah, that's a tough decision. But, you know, like you said, we do have a choice. And I don't think it'll do any good to have him go to Azkaban. You know, it's just very important for us here on out to keep an eye on him very, very closely to make sure he doesn't fall down this rabbit hole again. Just got to make sure that happens. Well, we won't turn him in, and so we'll see what Ominous and the sister decide to do. We'll have to see what they believe, so let's talk to Sebastian about what happened one more time. I'm glad you came. Sebastian, I've received your owl. What's happened? Ominous spoke with Anne about what happened with my Uncle Solomon. She believes I should pay for what I did, but she won't turn me in. She said the guilt I'll have to live with is punishment enough. I'm so sorry, but I'm glad you know that you can at least try to move on now. The thing is, I think I've lost my sister, my twin, forever. She refuses to even see me. I can't blame her. I couldn't really blame any of you if you gave up on me entirely. You all believed in me, and I let you all down. Anne may just need some time. Surely one day she'll be able to forgive you. I hope you're right. I realize I can't undo what's been done, but I can try every day to make up for it. I owe you an ominous everything for standing by me. Well, it wasn't easy, but I believe in you, Sebastian. I've had a sense about you since that first day in Defense Against the Dark Arts. Seems so long ago. Thank you. I have no idea what's to come, but 
I'm grateful for your friendship. Yeah, I think you I'm know, glad you came to we made a tough decision. I think it's our job as his friend now to make sure nothing happens again. And you know, like his sister put it, he's learned enough, so just gotta make sure we're okay. So let's follow up with Poppy now and see what she thinks just about us with the whole snidget see. situation. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the snidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the centaurs. And I wanted to thank you when the poachers ambushed us. I... It was nice not to face them alone. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and, well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or Gran, of course. Nothing wrong with that. Highwing's good company. She is. Although I am beginning to see the appeal of, uh, human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone. And share Highwing. I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Does your Gran know that we found the Snidgets? I couldn't hold it in any longer. I told her everything. She was livid that I'd been anywhere near the poachers. But she confessed that she was rather envious about the Snidgets. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. You and I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Highwing can join us? Well, we're starting to tie things up with our classmates, and we got one more to tie up before we should face the last mission. And that's taking down Harlow with Natty. So let's go talk to her. I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Brickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie. And that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Harlow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Harlow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Harlow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. Keep an eye out. Harlow is likely around here somewhere. I sense he is close. Where is All right. Well, this know. looks to be Harlow's last stand. We could have beat him before we defeated Rookwood, but we decided to save it for a little later. Now, Rookwood and Harlow's band of dark wizards look to be falling apart. And if we can take out the top and the right hand man, I don't think they'll stand a chance to last for much longer. I think finally the police and the right authorities will be able to clear things up and take care of the rest of the band of dark wizards. So let's do our best. Let's get through these ash winders right over here and let us move forward to when we find Arlo is right after this battle. Little Nat's Iona, innit? 
and her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Hmm. Right, well, here we have Theophilus Harlow. And we have finally learned the Vada Kedavra spell from Sebastian. So I'm thinking of pulling an Indiana Jones here with the swordsman and just using that spell. And look, it's a one shot. So rather than save us the time of battling him, let's just take the easier route and be Indiana Jones. There we go. Got him down, I believe. And we take him down with the help of Natty. Looks like we took down Harlow and he won't be causing any more damage but looks like he did quite a bit on Natty so hopefully she's alright. I really do. I really do. And she looks to be okay. She looks to be okay. Thank goodness. Let's go talk to her and see what she's feeling. She Are did what sure her dad did. up for a visitor? Yes mother. I feel fine. And it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you. How are you feeling? Well, I've had better days, but Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instinct. Yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty. Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? Taking down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Oh, I'm glad she found Thank closure about her dad. It is always good to see you. She, her, she did what her dad did protecting her to protect us so we'll be forever thankful for that and that ties all our ends with all our classmates and all the quests we had with them so let's go talk to professor fig in the map chamber and let's go finish that up but oh man this is it this is what we've been waiting for boys and girls this is it 
I'm super excited. Let's get it done. Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the Keeper's Wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart, are you all right? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself... He would have killed me once he found the repository, if not before. I had no choice. You're right. You had no choice. You did what you had to do. With Harlow in custody and Rookwood gone, the wizarding community owes you a great debt. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials. To ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. We can only hope that we're not too late, and that we find nothing but a repository undisturbed beyond this door. Alright, well, this is it. This is what we've all been waiting for. Here is... I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you, they will in the future. The conclusion to I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. The story of Hogwarts Legacy. Ooh, and there we go. Got Ranrock's allies digging their drills in the final repository. I wonder how they were able to get the drill from wherever to bury and burrow down below Hogwarts Castle where we are. But looks like we have some goblins to take care of, so let's do it. And we got Professor Fig on our side right here helping us out with combat, so we'll be an unformidable duo. That should be able to take on these guys. No problem. Here we go. We got a bunch of yellow shield guys. But we'll just use ancient magic on them. Look at that drill go. They are really dead set on getting that ancient magic power for himself. And look. You know, Harlow's gone. Rookwood's gone. So it's all up. For Ranrock's taking on the bad guys side but they still have formidable opponents to face 
which is us, Professor Fig, and all of our allies. So they've got strength in numbers, but we just got strength within ourselves and the belief to prevent the bad guys from causing harm. We've seen the effects that magic has, this powerful magic. But, oh man, we got this drill in the way, so we shall... Oh man, Professor Fig, what a powerful shot of magic he had there. That is incredible to see. Don't ever doubt Professor Fig. You know, that's what we should have learned from the beginning of the game. That is what we're seeing. And oh man. We need our allies come soon. But man, we got two trolls to take care of. And use some ancient magic there. And we'll use that spell. Avada Kedavra. And man, that, that is a one-shot hit. So that's... That's uh, OP, OP, and you know, it makes sense we get it at this point of the game, but oh man, that's such a powerful spell. And this is the only time I guess I would kind of justify using it. It's when opponents will do nothing to stop us they'll have no mercy no remorse you know I know it's not ideal not the greatest thing but I'd be content with using that spell but what I do realize about Vada Kedavra is it takes a long time to recharge I mean if we were using that on everybody that would just be game breaking so I understand why the cooldown effect takes a while, but you know, we'll take care of these loyalists right over here. And once that spell, a lot of cadaver recharges, I think, I think we'll use it on the second troll. That way we can progress through the game a little faster. So there we go. We just got the troll left. So it's, it's time. There we go. We're so close to level 30, so that's pretty cool. So now that we've defeated our opponents, looks like we might have some ancient magic. There we go. I love that we can sense ancient magic. I think that's really awesome. There we go, we got some Wigan Well potion. must be getting closer to finding the repository. I fear you're right, Professor. There's nothing we can do but keep searching. But we've maxed it out at 25, so that's something to learn about. You can only carry 25 Wigan Weld Potion at a time. There we go. Got more of Ranrock's Loyalist right here. And we got a whole bunch of red barrels, so that might come quite in handy. So. Let's defeat these guys as quickly as possible and let's get to saving the repository and preventing it from entering the wrong hands. So this is it. This is it. This is the last level and oh man this game has been really incredible. It's everything that you could have imagined in the wizarding world and so much more. Only, only thing I wish it had is put it. So I'm hoping, praying that it might come out as DLC. You know, I'm very hopeful and optimistic about that. I really hope it comes out. That would be really awesome to see. And that skill move, that animation that the goblins have. I think that is one of my favorites to see. So, we had a handful of guys that started out, and we only got three left, so let's make quick work of them. And that Loyalist Commander's level 32. We're only 29. We're almost at 30, but that's still, you know, almost 10%. Even though it's only three levels, 
That's about 10%. That's crazy to think about. That is crazy to think about. But here we go. We're on our last one. There we go. Just like These clockwork. Us much luck so far. Professor Fig and I work out what pretty well. There we go. Got one more repository door. So let's move on through. Here we go. Professor Figs. Letter got through. And now we got a full cast of support with the professors. Let's go, Professor Hackett. Phenomenal job. Phenomenal job. Here we go. We got more loyalists to face on our own. So let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We're so close. We're so close. And oh man, this. That ensemble of professors helping us out, that's just the icing on the cake. You know, we're, we're fighting through to the repository. We're fighting all of Ranrock's cronies, but we gotta face the man himself. We gotta face the man himself. He's gotta show himself, you know? So, hopefully in the next couple minutes we'll, we'll find him out. But, oh man, this this level is incredible. Who would have thought, right? The final repository being under Hogwarts Castle. Who would have thought? But that's honestly the perfect place to hide something of that immense power. Because it's well guarded. You know, you have a huge student population. You've got some of the most powerful... Witches and wizards to protect the castle. There we go. We got Professor Sharp's help, but you know we gotta gotta use the OP spell. Just minimize the time it takes us to defeat these cronies, and we we gotta make it through. We gotta make it through as quickly as possible because we want to reap the rewards and we want to defeat Ranrock ASAP, ASAP. So let's move on through. We got. So much help from these two powerful wizards, Professor Fig and Professor Sharp. And we have become a very powerful wizard ourselves, so let's take it to the bank and let's get rid of these loyalists ASAP. ASAP. There we go. Got one more left. We'll make quick work of them.
got more of these pensive protectors. Don't tell me we have to go through them. Don't tell me we have to go through them. Oh man. The wand! Quickly! Oh dang, there's our wand. There's our wand we created with all advantages just now. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Oh man, they're responding well to it. Nice, nice. They stand their ground, so I guess that's the use that we're supposed to have. There we go. They've opened the doorway for us. Beautiful, beautiful to see. I guess that's what the use of the wand was for. Will we have another use, or is that the single use that we were all talking about? Let's see. But there is the final repository. We made it. I'm relieved we got here before Ranrock. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? Oh man, here's our choice. I think we gotta keep it contained. I plan to leave the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking. What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her and the others sooner. Trusted them more. The Keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? Ooh, keeping secrets. I mean, I guess we'll have to keep it forever. We'll the go Keepers with that. were right. The risk of using this magic is too dangerous. It is my responsibility alone to keep it safe. I understand, but you are not entirely alone. I will do all I can to help you. Arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Oh man, Ranrock's heavy set on just being anything anti-goblin kind. Oh no, oh no, Professor Fig. Oh man, that's, I hope he's okay. I, I really hope he's okay. And man, Ranrock, you'll, you'll pay for that. You'll pay for that. That's... That's one of the worst thing you could do. Alright, well. Looks like we'll have to fight Ranrock in dragon form. That is wild. I thought we would have to fight his goblin. Goblin self, but. 
Looks like it's gonna be more of a challenge as a dragon, so. Oh, looks like we can't go through that way. We got a bubble. Let's burst it real quick. Let's use some ancient magic. There we go. Took a small chunk of his health right there. But I wonder, I wonder if the unforgivable curse will work on him. Let's maybe try it out, see what happens. But this is, this is the last boss, so maybe not. We'll see, we'll see. I kind of want to use it, but at the same time I don't. Because I want to feel the rewards of just being able to beat the big bad, you know? But, it looks like he's level 31 red compared to us. I think we're only level 30 right now. So, I think that was really cool of the game to kind of adjust the level according to what we are there we go i got so tempted i used it i used the spell but thankfully nothing happened you know i think i think that's good that the developers of the game decided to make that one spell have no effect on the final boss after all it is the final boss so Gotta, gotta work for it. Gotta work for it. You know, there was Rookwood. There was Harlow. That spell worked on them. And I used it on Harlow, but I didn't use it on Rookwood. But makes sense. Because, you know, at the end of the day, Harlow wasn't really directly in the game for too long. It was mostly just Ranrock and Rookwood. So, makes sense that we gotta keep on fighting them. Got through the first stage of this big bad final boss. And it looks like we are on to the next section of this boss fight. Here we go. Here we go. Just blocking all his projectiles right here. See if we can get closer to him. Just chasing him so far. I'm surprised that none of his loyalists or anything spawn, but causing damage to those bubbles is really, really important. There we go. Got through it. Got past the first section of his boss battle. We got two more. I'm surprised it's not evenly spread out. It's like, I don't know, maybe like a fifth for the first, you know two sections of this boss battle and then you know the last 50 60 percent are in the third phase but we're slowly but surely making sure we take down this boss i really hope professor fig's okay and came out on the right side hopefully we can find out you know once we beat ranrock this dragon's really eating up a lot of my spells, taking a lot of damage, but it's taking a good chunk of our, our, our health too. We're taking a lot of damage from it too, but you know, we're slowly gathering the bubbles to heal ourselves as well. But look at that, look at that. We've made great progress and are almost done with the second phase of defeating Ranrock. And, oh, that's cool. Whatever projectiles he shoots from his mouth, looks like we can deflect it back. There we go, boom. That's what we like to see. So, almost there. Oh man, that did quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit of damage, but we're persevering, we're surviving. There we go, we got ancient magic again. And we are done with the second part of this battle boom 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 there we go where's he going to now where are we chasing him to what did he just knock down oh man that that can't be good right Woo, look at all that steam look at that repository just destroying everything in his path ran rock why? Why? Just on his one quest. Here we go. 
Here's the final stage of the last boss. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh man. Boy, am I hyped about this. Here we go. Let's unleash all our power against him. Okay, we got a red bubble there. Boom. Got a yellow bubble as well. Purple one as well. Gotta switch our spell. Let's do the ice one. And yeah, might as well change it to the ice one because we can't use a Vada Kedavra, so. We'll just have all the color types for spells. You know, I can't imagine them having a green bubble, so. I think we got most of the types of spells available in this game, so. Let's use it to pop Ranrock's bubbles. But I, I guess I could have expected Ranrock being a dragon. Because, you know, at the end of the day, at the very, very beginning of this game, we were chased by a dragon, right? So, I guess Ranrock, besides goblin kind, doesn't mind dragons as his companions. They also had that fighting ring of dragons, so... Maybe that was another hint, another foreshadow of what Ranrock's final form would be. But... We're, we're getting there. Boom! Oh my goodness. That must have done a lot of damage. There we go. Got an even more powerful looking dragon. Really absorbed in the ancient magic. We got a purple bubble right there. I think we just missed, so... Let's hit it this time around. There we go. Yellow bubble with the ice. Got another purple bubble to pop. Ooh, that did quite a bit of damage. We're, we're at half health now. Got a red one right here. Let's pop it real quick. There we go. Got through all his bubble shields. And oh man, he's attacking us like the Graphorn earlier now. Stumbling towards us, but... Looks like he only has about a third of his health left. So... We're, 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 we're putting the pain on him. We're putting the pain on him. But that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. There we go. Let's keep dodging and rolling. What attack is this one? Ooh, that's one we saw before. I don't, I think that one's unavoidable. That one does quite a bit of damage. So, when you're playing this game, just be... Cautious of that attack if you face the final boss Ranrock in dragon form, but It totally makes sense that he'd be the final big bad because We started learning about him at the very beginning of the game And he's the one left over at the very end of the game, so Man the payout was awesome. This is such a cool boss fight. And I did not expect Ranrock and Lodgok to be siblings. And I didn't expect Ranrock to take the actions that he did on his brother. And I didn't expect Sebastian to take the actions that he did with his uncle. And in turn, you know, it drew his sister away. It really did. I think that's the most hurtful suffering that he has to endure. Knowing that the relationship between him and his sister will never be the same because of the actions that Sebastian had. Here we go. Branrock now has less than a quarter of his health left. I can tell we're getting really, really close to defeating him. I tried to catch his projectile and try to throw it back at him, but it didn't work, unfortunately, so... Ooh, man, that's a new, that's a new attack he has, using his wings and trying to clip us, but that did quite a bit of damage, so. This is one of the few times I've actually had to use the Wigan Woe Potion, surprisingly, but I'm glad we had a whole full surplus of them, because if we didn't, that would have been so much trouble for us. 
There we go. Maybe like a tenth of his health left. There we go. We got a projectile. Oof, that did quite a bit of damage. Let's just use all the spells from our spell cast now. And oh man, I can't wait to take out Ranrock. Should be interesting to see how we take him down and how the developers made it in this game. All the animations and all the... I can't wait. I can't wait, man. This is... This is cool. I'd say this is probably my favorite Wizarding World game. Ooh, there we go. I think we just did it. We just did it. Look at him fly away. Oh, no. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Got some fire. His last resort. Boom, pop the purple bubble. See yellow bubble, pop that. And one more red one, I think. Boom, there we go. Oh man, there we go. We just defeated Ranrock. Let's go. Hero of Hogwarts. Oh, no, there he is still. Got Miriam's wand. Professor Fig's wife can finally return it to its proper place oh man look look at this mess that we've caused beneath Hogwarts whoa there we go everything's coming to an end okay I think Ranrock disappeared probably similar way that Voldemort met his end and now we gotta protect this Got the wand, useful one. Oh man, maybe using Wincardium Leviosa or something. Keep everything from falling apart. Maybe even Reparo. Oh, there we go. We got Professor Fig. Thank goodness he's okay. Woo! Let's get it. Let's get it. One of my favorite characters. Let's get it, Axel. We got this, we got this. Let's go, let's go. We got it, we got it. Ooh, it's fighting back. It's such a strong, powerful, ancient magic. But I think we got it. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor. Let's go, let's go. Let's show him our power. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, we've unlocked our full potential. Oh no. Professor. Uh, Miriam. Oh no, man. Oh no. Yeah, give him the wand. Give him, give him his wife's wand. Oh man, don't. No, no. Miriam. I would have loved you, my young friend. The wizarding world could not be in more capable hands. Oh man, that's that's tough. We just got him back too. Oh. That's, that's tough, that's tough, but, you know what, I guess, I guess on the bright side, he's, he's with his wife, right? He's with his wife, so, that's the main thing, here we go, got Hogwarts in winter time, really beautiful. <coughs> professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you, certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety, providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost 
much too soon as well. Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig, Well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, justly, and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig! Can't believe we lost Fig. I didn't know him as well as you did, but I know he was a good man. Glad Weasley spoke for him. She honored him well. Fig will be well remembered. I wish the same could have been done for my uncle. I wonder if there's a chance Anne would meet me. Sebastian, I can't imagine what you and Anne are going through. Perhaps you'll hear from her soon. I hope so. I, I'll let you know. Sebastian, there's something you should know. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if he faced quite a fight. The rumors are true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait! What... what are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This... this can't be. It was the Loyalists. It's always been them. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. Once Rookwood allied with Ranrock, Isadora's estate became of interest to them both. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw your sister, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her. And she's never been the same. So cruel. Rookwood deserved what he got. Thank you for telling me. It wasn't a goblin. I suppose I owe you an apology. All this time I thought goblins were the enemy. But it was never that simple. Ominous said he's spoken with Anne. I wonder if she'll see me. I'll find out and send word when I know more. Oh man, that's... That's tough, you know. I'm glad Sebastian's with us. We'll keep an eye on him. You know, I think that'll be our job as his friend. And, you know, if he doesn't learn from this, then we've made a grave mistake. But Professor Weasley's toast to Professor Fig was well warranted. You know, Phineas Nigellus Black, the headmaster, isn't good at that type of things. And here we go. Got a congratulations. We have completed the story of Hogwarts Legacy. And that is the end of the game. We did well. That was incredible and more than I could have ever imagined. Looks like we actually have one more mission though. And I think that's just reporting to Professor Weasley about our field guide completion. So let's go do that real quick. What an incredible journey this has been though, but we, we completed it.
we completed it and we made it to level 30 that is pretty solid let's finish the last quest let's report to professor weasley about professor our field weasley guide. you wanted to see me i did we haven't had a chance to speak since i know you were quite close with professor fig hogwarts won't be the same without him no it won't but i can assure you that he would want us to press on and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a Graphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even somehow ingratiated yourself with the Headless Hunt. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Sweeting. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. There have evidently been snidget sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, two Hogwarts students are behind it. Uh, I'm certain I don't know what... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. All right, well, that concludes the ending of Hogwarts Legacy. That was so much fun so much that'll be memories really nostalgic about how we grew up with the harry potter series so you know i thank you guys for all the support like and subscribe and we'll for sure catch you in the next one take care